Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're going to have a little bit of an update on our discus breeding project. If you have a look through some of the previous videos, we talked about setting up the breeding tank. This is the tank behind me, you can see that it's a two foot by one foot. Um, bear tank, nothing in it apart from a little sponge filter here and the fish and we did have the breeding cone in there for a while what was happening is we were getting really regular spawns so getting eggs from them, they look to be fertile in that if the eggs turn white after a couple of days or a day, that tends to mean that they're not being fertilised and sometimes you can just have two females and be mistaken as to which one's the male and which one's the females but I don't think that was happening here. I think we've got a male and a female. The eggs were staying dark, but they were getting eaten by the fish. Now, these are a fairly young pair, so that is something that's pretty common. It happens. Um, so I wanted to leave them to be as natural as possible and give them a few chances. But they're literally spawning on a weekly basis. I, I tend to do one big water change a week and a couple of other smaller ones on this one. And whenever I do the big 50% water change, they spawn that evening, uh, almost without fail. I'm not going to prove me a liar now because I've just done the, the big water change. But what I've done is I've taken the cone out and thought, right, let's have a go with a cone guard. And a cone guard is usually a piece of mesh or some kind of protective equipment that you can put around that. Um, I've built them in the past out of like kind of chicken wire type stuff. It doesn't really matter what the material is because it's not going to be in there long enough to leach anything to the aquarium probably uh, but try and stay away from things which will rust so we've got our cone I couldn't find any of them I usually use it's like a green uh, plasticky mesh used for gardening for like tying plants up and stuff like that but I've been to the garden centre a couple of times over the last couple of weeks and I couldn't find any and then we happened to be out doing some Halloween shopping for the kids and I found this now uh, it's a scary Halloween bird cage or something like that. So I'm wondering if I can retrofit this somehow to be a guard for this. Now obviously these are quite big gaps in here but I think they'll sit far enough away that the fish won't actually be able to get through to peck at the eggs. But it's going to be a bit of trial and error, we'll see what happens. Uh, so my plan is, it's so this is almost the same height as the cone itself. But what I'm going to do is cut the bottom off and cut a hole in the top just so the very top edge of the uh, the cone pokes through and it can kind of wedge on that and that should provide it with some kind of stability. But the next few minutes may prove all that wrong. Let's give it a go. Right, we have something, it's possibly the jankiest discus breeding cone guard I've ever seen, but I think it might work. So what I was worried about was that it wouldn't sit on it because it wasn't heavy enough so it would float, but it wedges in fairly nicely on there. Um, the only problem will be is if they lay the eggs right up at the top of the cone because then I won't be able to get the cover on. Um, but if they lay it anywhere else, that should sit just nicely. Still give them enough um, space to be able to fan the eggs and see that they're still there, but without being able to pick them off. Um, and I'm, I'm sure they're just doing it because they're inexperienced, so hopefully once they get to the regular stage, they will then pick up where they should. But let's give it a go and see what happens. So obviously, take this off for now. Get this in the tank and let them have some jiggy time um, and, we, and then we wait sometime later we'll come back and have a look and see what's happening 
So I was about to make an update to this part of the video to say that the fish were mugging me off. Obviously they heard me saying that they spawn like clockwork once a week every time I do a big water change. It didn't happen yesterday uh, and I've been watching them again today and nothing's been happening. But as soon as I turned on the camera now, I don't know if you can see it, but they've just started cleaning the cone. So maybe we'll catch something now. So I'm going to go all sneaky and let's see if we can film what's going on. We've talked about it a little bit before in previous videos, but the signs that you've got some discus that are thinking of breeding, um, they might not always go all the way through with it, but you get a kind of shimmying, or if you do have a cone, or if it's a piece of wood, or possibly a heater, or any kind of ornament in the tank, if they peck at it, uh, that's kind of cleaning it like they're doing here. Um, it could just be that they kind of, you see two hanging about more than any others, and they kind of seem to be staring into space, or staring at a piece of wood, or staring at an ornament, um, or even just the side of the, the tank. These are usually signs that you've got a potential pair at least. Um, if you've got fish in a community tank, they might chase away all the other fish just because they're thinking about doing, um, just because they're thinking about um, pairing up. Um, so these are the signs that you look out for, but it's not 100%. Sometimes they'll show all the signs and then nothing will happen. Right, they're clearly just taking the piss. They're not interested. They clearly just want to embarrass me. So what we'll do is just give it a bit of a test fit. So let's try that instead. So it does actually just sit on top, um, I don't think it needs, I didn't need to cut the hole in the top to try and wedge it on. Um, I think it looks alright, let's have a closer look. So it'll definitely stop them trying to get at the eggs, I might need to jam it on to give it a bit of rigidity if they do get very persistent and try and eat their eggs again, but mm, for a first fit I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to still keep looking for the proper material that I've used in the past, the kind of mesh stuff that is probably a bit better suited. This was just a, a little cheap thing bought out of Poundland, just trying it out, see if it worked. So I'm going to keep my eyes open, watch out for these two laying the next batch of eggs, and then we'll put this on and give it a try and see whether it works or not. Uh, let's call it quits for today. I think that's a, as good a test as I'm going to get. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for them laying again and see if I can get this on and see if how well it performs really. Um, but yes, thanks for watching today. As always, if you don't want to miss any more, click on that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.